Hi guys, my name's Dan or Elements. Welcome to another tutorial. Um, this one is basically how to use the free VST synth plugin called Synth One, uh, which I will put a link in the description to. It's a completely free plugin. Um, it the GUI is a little bit cluttered, but it is a fantastic synth, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of how you can get a kind of a, a dead mouse sort of progressive house synth pluck sound uh, out of this synth. And um, we're going to be just kind of working with that on top of the uh, the beat that I showed you how to make in a, a previous video, which is just, if you look at my other videos, you should see it. It's the how to make a, a beginner's progressive house beat. So we've got this beat already. May or may not take a few elements out of that while we're working, but it doesn't really matter because it's all about this synth. So this is the standard sound that it loads up with. Which is not all bad um, and it is quite an analogy sort of sounded synth um, it's pretty cool so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like just mess around and try and get a progression down um, I've got a few ideas which is sort of a four ba basic four bar progression I've got my MIDI keyboard in front of me so I'm just sort of having to play um, something along those lines, those sort of chords. So I'm just going to jump straight in and try and record something on the fly, see if I can get it to work. Obviously having the metronome on and having account in would be useful because I can hear what I'm doing. Here we go. Although, in fact, I've done that completely wrong. So this is just to prove that this is an on the fly, no edit tutorial. Let's try that again. We're going to do it in eighth, eighth notes. All right, so didn't do a terrible job of recording that in there. Um, for some reason, it seems to have cut off the uh, the first few notes that I tried to record, but that's not a problem. Let's just get rid of that first bar. Did some wrong notes as well, but we can fix that. That's again absolutely fine. We're going to go in here. We're going to right click and go quantize settings. We're going to change that to one eighth notes. Click OK, and that will automatically quantize those notes. Uh, we're going to take that bar there and we're going to stick that at the beginning so we've got that back where it should be. Then we are going to click on all of those bits and we're going to right click consolidate. So it's all one big MIDI thing. I'm going to drag here so I can see the notes a bit better. I'm going to choose all the notes by pressing control A and I'm going to drag all the velocities up. And then I'm also going to turn this uh, volume down. I'm going to play about with some of these notes. And I know what you're thinking, that doesn't, doesn't sound like a progressive house synth. No, but we're going to tweak the settings on the synth in just a second. Fix that. Okay, cool. So now we've got these kind of chords. And solo that out so we can just hear the sound of the synth. And turn this down so you can hear me. See, it's not so bad. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the amplifier, uh, the amplifier ADSR, the, um, the envelope here. We're going to take the attack all the way down. That's going to make an instant difference. We're going to turn off the chorus and flanger for now, and turn off the delay for the moment. We're also going to change the mix, which is here. It's very confusing because it's very uh, 
condensed GUI, so it's hard to tell sometimes what buttons are being labelled, which knobs are labelled correctly. But turning the mix all the way to the left means that we're just using oscillator 1. We'll change oscillator 1 to a, um, a saw wave, and that will make us give us this sound. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the saturation of the filter up a tiny bit. We're going to turn the resonance all the way down and we're going to turn the frequency down to about 22. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the amplifier decay and sustain. We're going to turn the sustain down, I believe. And then we could at this point turn on unison as well, if we feel like it, maybe up to four. Maybe detune them a tad, depending on what sort of sound you want to go for. So at this point you could turn the tempo delay back on if you feel uh, that you want that. Although it does seem to be tempo delayed at the wrong tempo, I would put on my favourite which is the Fab Filter Timeless. Put it to maybe the analog tape echo setting. Um, but I've just dragged that Timeless to a completely wrong channel somehow. Where have I put it? I've put it on the symbol. Well done Dan. Right, we'll go back to that, make sure we've got the synth VST one there. Drag that to that channel. Instantly we sounded a bit nicer. And then as we play with the frequency of the filter. Turning the unison off actually gives you, you've got a completely different sound, still a nice sound, but you'd want to uh, turn the uh, volume up a little bit without it on. Personally, I like the unison effect because it kind of really fattens up the sound with a bit of the detune on it. Um, and then the the other, other thing that I do, we'll see how that sounds over the beat. Probably turn off this because um, it doesn't quite work. But but again, the tutorial is not for not for a song. It's just for doing that synth. But here we go. Last thing I'd probably do here, well, maybe not the last thing, but one of the things I would also do is go to the audio effects of Ableton, grab a compressor, a generic compressor there, put that after the synth but before the delay plugin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click this little triangle here to pull out the sidechain area. We're going to select audio input from, select audio one because that's our kick drum. And then we'll see. that that actually um, starts to affect. If we pull down the threshold a little bit more even, um, turn the ratio up a little bit. That gives us a nice side chain effect.
And there you have it. That's how you do a very quick uh, synth one um, dead mouse style progressive house pluck sound. Um, hope you found this helpful. Obviously, I'll put links to the um, the synth plugin because it's totally free. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions and stuff, please don't uh, hesitate to stick them in the comments. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I also do Twitch streaming of music production a couple of times a week. Uh, I've got SoundCloud and Bandcamp and all that stuff. And uh, and there's all sorts of links and things that I've probably posted uh, in the description. And uh, please like, subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And uh, that makes me feel really happy. So, yeah, I will uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Take care.